Guinea may not be known for fast cars, winding courses and speed junkies, but organizers of the recent 36th edition Gymkhana say the capital, Conakry, could soon become the motorsport mecca of the region. More than 30 race car drivers participated in the competition, which also included two and four-wheeled motorbikes. It's a challenge. We always see up-and-coming drivers. Our objective is to grow our sport family. And when we manage to attract new sportsmen, it gives us hope because it's always good to get new sportsmen. We are on the right path. This year's tournament also attracted the sole female race driver, Nabila Habula, who won a medal at the end of her race. Habula hopes that her win will encourage more women to join the sport. This is all about courage. I tell myself there is hope for women. I think that women are capable to achieve something in this sport. It's not just a sport for men, I'm proof of that. I hope that all women will want to use me as an example and come and compete against the men because there are more men than women in this sport. Organizers of the Jim Khanna are looking to hold another edition in January 2012 in central Guinea. The overall motor race winner was Lebanese-born driver Antoine Fadi Mudad, who also owns a garage in Conakry, and Malko Didier won the motorbike section of the races. There was no cash prize, but the winners received trophies. This is the first time I have taken part in this race, and I was very pleased with how well the event was organized. This is a good initiative, something that Guinea needed, because it is the only motorsport that Guinea has at the moment. It's still small, but I hope that the government will look into this sport to improve it, so that we can have more international competitions here in Guinea.